Welcome everyone to a very special video this time, an interview that I was lucky and privileged to get with Harry McQueen, writer and director of Supernova, one of my favorite movies this year and of LFF nonetheless. And just in hopes that he somehow, some way is watching this as it's up now on YouTube, I want to thank him again. He was so gracious, generous and just open and available in the interview, made me feel very comfortable interviewing him. I hope I was able to do the same for him. And I just want to let you all know before we start a proper interview that we talk somewhat freely about certain aspects, specifically of the third act. We don't talk about the very ending of the film, we don't talk about meanings or anything, but we do say characters are placed here and are talking in a certain way. So it's not spoilery, but if you want to go into the film completely blind, just you're warned now. I cannot sell you enough on this film, so I'm going to let Harry McQueen himself, writer and director, just talk about it and sell you on it. So please do enjoy the interview. And I haven't done these in a while, so forgive any rustiness on my end. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me, uh, Harry McQueen, director of Supernova. Thank you for giving me your time. And first of all, wonderful, wonderful film that you made. How was it, given this is only your second feature to to have such big stars on on your movie uh well thanks it's really nice to chat to you um it was incredible it was really really incredible from start to finish you know we we were very lucky colin and stanley right from the start just fell in love with the characters and fell in love with the script um and were just hugely supportive and trusting um you know from the, the first day to the last so it, it was an, in, an incredible experience to to work with um, not just amazing actors, but amazing people. They're really, really genuinely lovely men. Um, and um, I had a really nice time collaborating with them. So yeah, I feel feel very lucky. Yeah, and, and it's amazing to see how beautifully delicate performances you could get out of them. But I was particularly in love with the third act, which is in film one of the hardest parts to get right. But I thought it just elevated the movie that until then I already loved. Did it change much from the beginning, from your first draft to the final version? Um, yeah, it did. It did. But actually, funnily enough, it was more the the journey to get there that changed more mm. than the than, than the third act. Actually, uh, if I if I remember rightly, because um, I, I I I think that I remember writing that last section of the film. Um, and I was in this in this house in the middle of nowhere on my own, and it, and I was just and I remember just writing it, and it all kind of coming out in one go, and just absolutely, uh, you know, crying my eyes out writing it. And I think I, I sort of knew instantly that something um, something was you know was going going right about that. So that actually didn't change a huge amount that that final section of the film. I don't I don't remember, but um, certainly played around with. How the, how we got those characters there um, for, for quite a while, yeah. Yeah, uh, I cried myself just watching that last bit. It is an emotional wreck, especially the the scene at the table where they just burst out and and let the truth come out. Uh, and the not only the um, the the third act as we mentioned, but was there anything that you had eventually to cut from the movie that you really wanted to get in, or was it just always your version? We didn't cut a huge amount uh, at all, to be honest. Um, but but I think that's probably because the and and one of the things that really appealed to Colin and Stanley too is that the fil the, the script itself at script stage is it's really its simplicity of narrative and complexity of character. That was what I was trying to do right from the start. So I mean the, the script itself is I mean I think it's eighty six pages or eighty seven pages. It's really slight and really slender, and there's not a lot of like, like not a lot of fat on it, you know what I mean? So actually, um, we didn't cut a huge amount, no, um, at all. But I suppose the risk in, of that, in that, is that you you have to make sure that what you're getting is exactly right because you don't have. There's not kind of there's not huge amount of you know subplot. Well, there's loads of subplot, but there's not like yeah. secondary narratives or mm -hmm. other characters getting in the way of the journey. Um, so you, you have to just make sure that what you've got is um, is is as perfect as you can get it. Yeah, because there's not a lot of room to manoeuvre. Yeah, I could see that because from the very beginning, it kind of just goes. It's these two people. It's their relationship. It's what they're dealing with and how it's affecting them. I wanted to ask you, 
how did the story first come to you? Was it one of those moments where the light bulb just goes up or was there something in your life that happened that inspired you to, to write such a beautiful story? Um, well, I, I was working, um, it's a very personal film, yeah, and I, I was working with someone at the time who unfortunately, although I didn't know it, uh, this is about five years ago, uh, had young onset dementia and I watched her change, uh, let's put it that way, for, for a whole year um, at, at kind of close quarters and that really affected me um, and it, it really made me want to learn more about dementia broadly and, and young onset dementia specifically. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm very, I was very interested in the debate around end of life choices. Um, so the sort of the film came from a kind of marriage of those two things, really. Um, and then I just went on a, a, a really long um, investigative process where I worked at the University College London with the dementia team there and at the Wellcome Trust um, and spent a lot of time with people who are living with um, young onset dementia. A number of those people have uh, now sadly passed. So um yeah it, it was a really personal story and a really life-changing um profound um journey to get there yeah yeah you, you could feel it and if i if i can share my my grandfather who passed away a few years ago also also had it so this was a really oh. really beautiful film on on many levels uh, yeah. since we're running out of time again congratulations on the movie do you have any idea on what you might be doing next uh, what your next project might be any ideas so far I'm writing uh, two things at the moment, yeah, and they're very, very different ones, um, much more uh, genre uh, heavy. Uh, and the other um, is sort of more, it's a relationship drama like, like this one, but it, it, it's set um, far away from the UK. So I'm trying to, trying to make two things happen simultaneously that are very different from each other. Um, that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm up to. You know, fingers yeah. crossed they uh, see the light of day, but we'll see. Oh, I'm sure with, with this film out, you'll have no trouble getting them made. Again, congratulations. Such a beautiful film. And I'll be on the lookout to see what your next project is very attentively. So. Oh, thanks. Um, we'll chat again then, hopefully. Um, hopefully, yes. I can't wait. Thank you so much for giving me your time once again. And please, everyone, check out Supernova once it's in theaters. Beautiful, beautiful film. One of the best of 2020. Thank you so much, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Nice to meet you. So that's the interview. Hope you enjoy it. Once again, thank you, Harry McQueen, for giving me the time of day because just so gracious, so genuine on it. I, I just adored his movie. I adored talking to him. I hope I get more chances in the future. I can, and I cannot wait for his future projects. And one of them being a genre thing, you kind of know I'll be very much into that and hopefully I'll be able to talk about that with him as well thank you so much everyone for watching thank you harry mcqueen and please do check out supernova as soon as it's available near you whether it's a theater a streaming service a vod please do watch supernova and so until the next video please do stay beautiful and geeky and please do share like and subscribe because it really helps me end the channel out but most importantly about everything else forever and always love each other and love the movies